last time I saw all this, I think it's fair to say I was at a turning point in my life. I promised some people I'd come back, and I am back. My life has changed a lot. How much have their lives changed? Back in Entelau after a lot of years and a lot of miles. I wake up to the sounds of early morning village life. Roosters call, the coughing and clearing of lungs as the elders rise to perform their morning chores. The whole village lives here in separate apartments, sharing a communal space that runs the length of the building. In this part of the world, you live or die by the rice harvest. Less so these days, as timbering has changed, well, everything out here. But traditions run deep with the Aban and Gawai. The harvest festival was and remains like Christmas and New Year's rolled into one. We will need pork for Gawai. And unfortunately, that means a pig must die. More awkwardly, custom and my personal history in this village demands once again that I do the job. I'd like to tell you that this is never easy. That I felt this time like I did the first time. Sad, nauseated, complicit, aware that I'd crossed a line, been changed by the violence and the blood and the awful noise. But that would be a lie. There. Straight in. This time, I plunged the spear in without hesitation or remorse. When the pig dies, finally gives it up, I feel only relief. I have been hardened by the last 10 years. I don't know what that says about me, but there it is. <laughs>